I love that one. Oh, oh. Oh, Ray's baby, Ray's. I'm in Los Angeles. I love it. We love it. We love it. I love LA. Ah, oh, George. Oh. How do you feel, bro? I'm ready to do some yoga on the beach. I'm ready. HD, nice camera, man. I'm ready. Yeah, hey, George for title. We're here in Santa Monica, hooking up with Morning Maya and Jeff the Connect. And I'm here with the one, the only, man of truth. And we're here in LA causing trouble. So, yeah, you. Let's see. actually, we're producing a sh short documentary at the Beverly Hills Hilton. Come join us if you guys aren't doing anything this week. We'll be there all week. There you go. Gentlemen. <laughs> You're in trouble, dude. You're in trouble. iPhone. Yeah. Okay. This is what I always want to do. <laughs> Come down to Venice Beach and... I guess you can't beat me with that Sony HD. <laughs> <laughs> I got the heavy-duty camera here. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we going, man? Uh, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Gotta go to Third Street Promenade, man. <laughs> hey, yo, yo. Hey, it's I'm Man of Truth. Of store, man. I'm in LA, but they call this Santa Monica. Oh, this is great. Steam <laughs> rock on. Now, why are you store. so excited about this store with the this apple the on it? device on Earth, man. What? I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going to the max for right like full bush there. This is freaking great. <laughs> So what's your impressions, Mont? You're in Cali. Great, man. This is a little different than Draper, uh, Utah stuff, but uh, I can't believe it. It's worth the drive down I-15. I'm having a blast, George. This is great. Look at this. This is great. supposed to be from last November to this November is supposed to be the most critical depth in that's the, that's the, I would the like treaty to break these martinis signed. straight up. That's a part of the, you know, condition of the American Revolution. What do you think? It was the treaty that they signed with Benjamin Franklin and the Queen of uh, what, what treaty? You're saying we're still uh, under European I mean, on the condition that Britain leaves, we become their military wing. Right. That's why they got rid of their navy after the Revolutionary War. So we became their navy. And so America, like Canada, been, we're there, there's really no difference between right Canada and the United States. People don't yeah. realize that. We're, we're both under British rule. But like I say, it's like from the beginning of time, way before we were born, this has all been going on. So it's, I don't know that everything's going to turn on its side. We grew up living this way. What's your thoughts? They're manifold. I have a lot of thoughts. But like, I did post that White Horse Prophecy. Yeah, the revelations part. What about that? What do you there's a lot to it. There's a lot to a lot of things. But 2012, you know, I want to study in depth. That's why I'm going to read your book all the way. I take it seriously. So I want to take in a lot of information. That's why I'm going to read your book from cover to cover. And I'm going to continue learning about it. But economically, that's where I don't mind calling myself an expert because I understand I would debate, like I say, Timmy Geithner alone one second. That's why I did the latest video that, uh, you know, there's 65 trillion in unfunded obligations and debt, 300 million people. I did like back of the envelope calculation, $200,000 per person. If you get out of babies, it's like 550 grand. So financially, it's over. But that doesn't mean it's bad. You know, George, okay. Citrus fruit is going all over down here. There's avocado trees down here. In the true world, the nirvana that's coming, there'll be an avocado tree growing. I'm gonna take an avocado, which is a good fat, right? It's not bad. People like <laughs> which is avocado. a good fat, right? It's a good I love fat. that. It's yeah. great. Omega three is gonna help your yeah, joints get bench press not more. Peak lard for sure. Absolutely. And so whether somebody's Catholic or they're like Vision Victory and they're like atheist turned born again or they're like morning Mayan and they're like boom like this. That's why that yoga class I like that. People like cut me down for the yoga. MOT, what do you do in yoga? It's from the devil. Like, dude, chill. You want to talk scriptures? 
you want to talk about? Revelation, Matthew 24, Isaiah? Bring it on. Now, other people like, I can't take the Bible. I'm grateful that George brought me down to California. I'm coming through the desert, the parched desert, I-15, Vegas, the sin capital of the world, you know, whatever. And I keep going in and I'm in Barstow and Victor Rail. And now I'm in, what is it, Santa Monica? Santa Monica, baby. Beautiful, talking to good people. And they don't have the same background I have, but like Jeff, you know, it's great to connect and talk. You know, and you're doing some great stuff. And just appreciate and be grateful for what other people are doing. So, George, thanks for bringing me down there and hooking me up. No problem, man. I, I, I'm loving it. My pleasure. I feel like doing Randy Newman's so, song, and so I'm all these people it, that think we were fighting, no. Go, I love LA. And like, like love high it. frequencies, it's so important, like, when you talk about frequency. frequency, when you get around people that are higher frequencies, it unlocks your higher frequencies, so you get your smartest you. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, certain people, thanks when you get around the high awesome. vibrational people, yeah, it you unlocks can edit your it out, but you got something. And if you gave somebody a choice, would you want this toilet paper or this dollar? Where's that? Where, where, where's the toilet paper? Uh, where's that? At the mini bar. At the Compton. A dollar for a roll of toilet paper? Yep. That's very interesting. That's a great analogy. Oh, right there, just do hybrid seeds, orchards, trees, people you trust. I was talking to George today. Like, about if there were 10 families, you know? You got a peach tree, you got an apple tree. I'm not in Utah, so I can have a lemon tree, an orange tree, an avocado tree. And we're like growing stuff. We're vegetarian, we're on fruit. It'd be a no phenomenal. We might even have one lawnmower, or we don't even grow lawns. Like we're eating sagebrush to clean out the parasites. That kind of society I see coming soon. Right now, we're forming it. Whether we know it or not, we're forming it. But the whole Wall Street, based on debt thing, where I'm gonna get my if you're, if you're one of 500,000 people on welfare, in, you're in LA County, and you're depending on Captain Crunch, and you're going to get your food stamps and feed. They're gonna. These people are gonna panic. They don't run. Whatever. Okay. Five bucks. Okay, I'm on. I'm grateful. Where's he going? Film this. Film this. He says. I want to. Everything's gonna be good, you know? I'm so glad I can collect Social Security because you know what I can do? Joe, See, if Joe, I just work Joe, 20 Joe. more years, and then I can collect Social Security, and then I'll be good. Because I know that everything's solvent. And your 401k, don't forget that. That's 401k. Good investment. Thanks, Jeff, yeah. I can, I can trust the government, so thanks. Absolutely. Talk about getting everyone together now. I have free health care. Excellent. Right I didn't on. take advantage. I just need to get a down payment on a new house. Hey, you know, have a job. We always join the Obama Civilian Patrol. <laughs> you can get a down lot. payment. They're giving eight thousand dollars away. Well, they're not. Yeah. Wait, wait, this is gonna get a car, right? We could get a car right now. Probably two cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, we want paper money. Why would we want this stuff? That's All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where, where, where's, that stuff? where's that stuff? Do we have any in our wallets? Okay, let's see. Now, what was the price of gold five years ago? <laughs> 300? Did anybody buy gold? What's gold? Gold can't be over 400 now, is it? I think it's around 600 now. I think I have marijuana, which is worth more than all of this. <laughs> you guys think gold will ever go over 1,000? No way. What? You know why silver and gold is... You got a lot of toilet paper. What? what? That's right. The California, on. they're taxing us 18% of marijuana. What the? So you're really doing your civil duty if you smoke more, George. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> a lot. We gotta, we gotta contribute to the California economy, man. That's right. Yeah. We're not because you know, all the pharmaceuticals are in California and they're losing money on it. Oh, poor pharmaceuticals. That's why, why do you think they're pushing for health care, universal? They want guaranteed money. This is what I found from most ladies, right? Okay. Average lady has around 2,000 just that they don't use, that they haven't seen for the last 10 years. Another thousand that they threw away because they're missing a piece. I'm single, so I'm not seeing that around the house anymore. <laughs> but back in the day, I'm single, so I don't see that. But back in the day, you're right. You look, you look in the jewelry box, and there's like there is a handful. Junk stuff. There's a handful. At Everybody least, right? At least a handful. Why wasn't it more materialistic? Oh my God! Oh. All these people I talk to say, "I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke." Go look in your drawers. Right, yeah. That's what I'm like. George, about urban survival. This is an integral part of urban survival, George, really. 